So this is going to be a pretty short video or at least I hope it will be a pretty short video. I would like to state though that if you hear any sounds in the background, that's my kitten deciding that I don't know is going to be hunting imaginary creatures all throughout my house. So apologies for the sounds. But as I was saying, I made an earlier video last week Sunday talking about the fact that I was chosen to be one of the judges for the booktube SFF awards which I'm still really really stoked about and um, nominations are closing tomorrow so I figure that I will just use this video to talk about my shortlist recommendations or rather the books I'm keeping my fingers crossed actually make it to the shortlist now I would state that this is not me saying that this is how you would vote but rather me once again appealing to anybody that is watching who hasn't put in their nominations yet nominations are closing tomorrow so please 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 get your nominations in before the close Like I said, I'm hoping to make this video pretty short, pretty straightforward. There are different categories for nomination and each category you have the chance to put in two nominations. And I think I'm just going to do a cross section of recommendations of books across all the categories. If it's a book I'm recommending but I have not read yet, I'll be sure to state it. Now for the category for best fantasy, which you all know is something I'm really, really passionate about and definitely invested in. So for my best fantasy recommendations for the shortlist, here are my nominations. I'm just it's just a personal thing I don't think anybody's surprised but I definitely will recommend the Dragon Republic you all know that this series is one of my favorite series ever of all times and I just love the fact that this book didn't have middle book syndrome I love the fact that Rebecca took this character so much further in this book and I love just how more intricately she built this world and the amount of work she put in and the fact that we can legitimately see that she has a story that she's telling so definitely Dragon Republic by RF Kong I'm certain nobody's surprised about this and then there's the Kingdom of copper by sh akroboti um i like i said look at the eligibility rules for you to be sure that the books you're nominating are actually eligible for the awards but we can choose book one two three of a series if it came out that year but you cannot extend beyond book three and kingdom of copper as you all know is the second book in the devil trilogy i love the world building i do love gene in my stories and this is one of those rare books that has an entire gene world built in so i really really do love it and i just uh, sh jacoboti created this middle eastern inspired world and filled it with so many magical characters who are just as flawed as they are powerful and i just i love the series so much and this book was way better than city of brass for me so definitely definitely a recommendation for the shortlist like i repeat i don't know exactly i have an idea of how the votes are going because of course um cast is like keeping us judges abreast and aware but we don't know exactly which books will make the final shortlist and kingdom of copper is definitely a recommendation for me because i repeat i love this book i love the series so much and then there's gods of jade and shadow by sylvia moreno garcia i would admit though you all know i did not give this book a five stars because i felt it was too short but i will still state that the fantasy elements in this book the world building that sylvia moreno garcia puts into this book is just fucking spectacular absolutely spectacular so definitely definitely a fantasy book um that i would recommend i i loved it i loved it i would it goes to show how much I love the book when it is that my only complaint about it is the fact that it is too short and that is just it. It was short but the fantasy in this is just spectacular. I would definitely highly recommend it. And then the last book I'm choosing like recommending for fantasy or best fantasy is Night House by Lee Badugo. I am not gonna lie. I know a lot of people are like oh my god this is it's a popular book yes but i did enjoy the fantasy elements in this book i love the way in which libadugo wove in the occult into yale and into the secret societies and i just i thought it was brilliant yes is it a popular book yes um did everybody practically like read it yeah <laughs> i know sometimes we think oh popular books are just that just popular it's the hype but for me personally i did enjoy the story and i did enjoy the characters and i did enjoy the fantasy elements in this book oh and i did not hold that up with the others but my last fantasy recommendation which is a book i've not read yet but i intend to read it this year and i sincerely hope he actually does make the short list so that i can finally get around to i can finally make that my incentive to read it that is uh, parry of the Railway tree by samantha shannon i have a lot of friends that love this book like legit 
legitimately love this book they, they yes it's a slow start but they said that this book was just mind-blowingly good it's huge it's a standalone fantasy and i love me standalone fantasy this big because that is a big ass world i'm definitely going to have a blast immersing myself in but yes definitely parry of the orange tree by samantha shannon i might not have read it but it's still a recommendation for the shortlist because i repeat I would love to read this book. I would definitely, definitely love to read this book for the SFF Awards. Now, the next category is best science fiction, and I'm going to admit it, I didn't read as much science fiction last year, especially 2019 science fiction last year, which I already stated in my year in books video, which I did a couple of weeks ago, if you're interested in seeing exactly how my reading went in 2019. But I didn't read enough of a lot of science fiction, or any science fiction, so I'm my, my list would not include books I've read, but these are books that my friends have read and books that I've started reading and I have very, very good vibes about. So yeah, still recommendations, but I'm giving you the caveat in that I have not read any of these books yet. The first, of course, is Gideon the Night by Tamsin Moore. I know that there were a lot of things that came up about Tamsin Moore's writing on Twitter last year that I was just like, ugh. So I did, I started this book, but when that came out, I just put it away. I was like, I'm going to read it eventually, just not anytime soon. But before all of that came out a lot of people that had read this loved it i know people are a bit torn whether this book is more science fiction or if it is more fantasy it's a genre bender definitely but i think i will categorize it more as science fiction because it does take place in space sure there are necromancers and all of them, but it still takes place in space so for me it's science fiction another science fiction work i would recommend is the fever king by victoria lee although technically this is this has science elements yes so that's the only reason why i'm category i'm classifying it as science fiction our lead protagonist no malvaro wakes up as a technopath he has the power to control technology this takes place way into the future so technically in a way it is kind of post-apocalyptic also does have science fiction elements and my friend carry over carry the book bill love this book swears by this book so yeah would definitely make my recommendation list and then there's once and future by amy rose capetta and corey mccarthy this is science fiction this is a gender bender author authorian retelling told in space so definitely has space opera vibes definitely works i know it's not a book for everybody but my very good friend vendi we have such similar taste in books and such similar taste in characters that we love and the reasons why we love them and she really really loves this book it was one of our favorite books from last Year, so definitely would make my um, shortlist and then finally there's emergency skin by nk jemison another book i have not read yet even though i own it on audio it's pretty short but i do think that it's an nk jemison book it's all about this explorer that goes back to that goes back to earth after it is that earth has massively been evacuated after climate change does exactly what it is that we're expected to do makes um earth a desolate wasteland so this explorer is going back to look at this earth that has been abandoned as well as the people who used to live on earth that were also abandoned along with the planet i think it's definitely definitely intriguing definitely combine that with nk jemison's writing i think it's just spectacular and jason isaacs also narrated the book so you know that it's just I repeat it's spectacular um but yes those are the four books i would be personally be recommending for science fiction even though technically i did not read any of them i'm so sorry like i said i did not read any 2019 i read a lot of other older science fiction books but no 2019 science fiction books sorry and then there's best debut novel which i think of course nobody's surprised gideon the knife would make this list because it is tamsin moore's first book but you would not know it because i repeat it's that good that good another recommendation for me is the water dancer by tanesi coates this is not tanesi coates first book but it's his debut no um, fictional novel because prior to that he was always writing non-fiction work i am still reading this i'm about halfway through and i'm really really loving this book so that's the reason why i'm putting it on this list i think it's really bloody brilliant but it's it's a personal thing i'm enjoying it i'm having a blast then there's descendant of the crane by joan hay i have not read technically i've not read this yet so i can't really speak much about it but based on the premise and based on the fact that i did see a review from a trusted friend who loved this that's the reason why i'm putting this on this list because it's Essena. It's about a reluctant royal who rises to the occasion to roller people. And I just, I love the premise of that. I've not read it. I repeat, I have not read it, but 
I get good vibes from I get good vibes from Descendants of the Crane. I really do. And it's definitely a book I'm going to read if it ever makes the shortlist, even though I am very doubtful. But if it ever makes the shortlist, I would be so stoked to read it during the reading during the reading period in March into April. But yeah, Descendants of the Crane by John He. And finally the fourth debut novel, which I still have not read yet, but because I did, did get it until this year, actually. That is Daughters of Henry by um Reni K. Amayo. Firstly, look at that cover isn't that cover gorgeous it's stunning isn't it absolutely stunning but it's Rennie's first novel and the concept this this concept of twin goddesses separated by birth who it's up to them to save their world to save their to save their kingdom from this from the villain who would rather see them dead I love this concept I love this idea I love stories that feature goddesses especially goddesses who do not know their power at the start of the story and it just definitely a debut i recommend i have seen reviews i know my friends love it i cannot wait to read it i'm so happy i finally got it this year as a gift and just it's like definitely definitely an amazing christmas present i'm so stoked next up is best YA fantasy books and you all know YA fantasy is my jam uh and there are a lot of YA fantasy books i could easily pull up i'm picking two of the two books the two YA fantasy books that i really really that i read and i really really loved and i definitely hope make it to the shortlist and one recommendation that I have not read yet but I've heard great things about and I cannot wait to read so let's go with the ones that I've read first and I'm certain nobody's surprised but Wicked King by Ollie Black you all know that the Folk of the Air series is one of my favorite series one of my favorite YA series I love that series I love it so much and I think of the three books in the trilogy Wicked King is my absolute favorite I know Queen of Nothing also came out in 2019 but I think that Wicked King was an even better book than Queen of Nothing. Like, no, I don't even think anybody would argue with me because this middle book did not suffer from any middle book syndrome whatsoever. It was so fucking good. So definitely Wicked King by Olive Black is a book I am recommending for the shortlist for best YA books. Like, I, I hope it makes it because I definitely would love to reread the series or at least reread Wicked King again, like again. Next is The Gilded Rose by Roshani Chokshi. I keep talking about this book on my channel so you all know how much I loved this book last year and I think that uh, I think that it's done such a disservice because everybody just goes, it's like Six of Crows and then people read it and they're like, it's not like Six of Crows and I'm like, it is not like Six of Crows. Six of Crows was heavy on character and even though I would admit that Six of Crows does the character interactions better for me like I found them more interesting Gilded Rose for me was a heist novel I love the fantasy element of this book I love the heist element of this book this was an intelligent book to read and try and decode and try and understand and I think for that it, it definitely it's it might not be for everybody because not everybody loves heist type things but I like heist no novels I like heist stories I love heist games so I definitely definitely would recommend and um, the Gideon rules for the shortlist. I hope he makes it so that I can do another reread in anticipation in anticipation for Silver Serpents coming out later this year but definitely gilded wolves by roshani chokshi like uh underrated fave underrated fave and the final recommendation for me for YA fantasy has to be serpent and dodd by shelby mahurin i have not read this book i already told you all that i have not read this book but i definitely want to read it um and i'm hoping that it makes it shortly so i think i can finally get the chance to do so i would state though that there was some controversy about this book about um the fact that um, the author did use transphobic language i think I don't know, I've not read it yet, um, but I have seen videos. Jesse of Bowties and Books hates, hates this book and they had very strong opinions about the reasons why they didn't like it. So I can't wait to read it and um, see for myself, but I would like to state that um, if you do choose to read this book, you'll be aware of that going into this book. But I, I think a lot of people a lot of people read this book and a lot of people love this book. So I want to say exactly where I fit into it. For it, but Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahurin. I hope it makes the shortlist so that I can read it during the um reading period for the award. Next is Best Middle Grade Novel, and I'm definitely going to be going with Dragon Pearl by Yuan He, even though I'm going to admit this was the only middle grade book I read last year. Thank God I enjoyed it and I loved it. Um, did I have a little bit of problem with it? Yes, but I did I did think it was, was a pretty decent, enjoyable book, so I would recommend it, but I would state the caveat that this was the only middle grade book I read last year, so it's possible that 
they were way better in fact not possible i know that they were way better books but this was the only one that was on my radar and this was the only one i read and i am thankful that i enjoyed it so i'm going to be holding it up for my recommendation for the shortlist so dragon power by you and he and then finally there's the recommendation for short work which is meant to be we're meant to just pick a book that is less than 200 pages and for me i think emergency skin like i already said earlier definitely fits this bill so i am just going to go with emergency skin i do not read a lot of short works so i am hoping that um i will keep an eye out for short stories released in 2000 in 2020 so that i can be ready for the 2021 um, booktube sff awards so yes look at me planning way ahead i'm that good well yeah those are some of my recommendations for the shortlist i'm keeping my fingers crossed that some of these books do make it on the shortlist because it would be cool to read them it would be cool to discover new favorites it would be cool to see exactly where i stand on those books let me know what some of the books you are sincerely hoping makes the shortlist hard drop them down in the comments down below if you've not nominated books for the categories yet please do so right now as you're watching this video because i repeat um nominations close tomorrow i'm going to leave the nomination link down in the description bar below for you to check out so please click on that link and go nominate if you've not done so but that is this video if you liked it please do not forget to give it a big thumbs up check out my other videos subscribe if you want to and if you do please click on that notification bell so you can know the minute i put up a new video i make new videos every Sundays, Wednesdays and Fridays and I'll see you soon. Until then, stay passionate, love books, love yourself. Bye.